Hey, Steve Spencer, GT Sports Marketing here in Chula Vista, California, doing a little testing on the new Speed Series Carbon. I didn't want to just take a aluminum frame and just change it to carbon. I wanted to take it to the next level. Yeah, the current Speed Series aluminum frames have, have been great. The teams love them, the customers have loved them, but uh, there's always room for improvement. Pretty much started when I was seeing what we were able to do with a lot of the road bikes and downhill bikes. You have so much greater potential to fine tune the riding characteristics by optimizing the, the way you lay up the carbon, the type of material you use, and you can really fine tune exactly where you want the bike to flex, where you want it more rigid, where you need to add strength without you know, having to just deal with wall thickness of aluminum or tube size. I thought it was like quick. I, I never imagined it was a, a bike like this. I could do whatever I want, like an aluminum one. So I'm really, really surprised what's, what this bike is. And we were able to make it stiffer by 12% uh, compared to the Speed Series alloy, which doesn't sound maybe like a lot, but the Speed Series alloy, a lot of the riders were happy with the way it accelerated and the characteristics of it coming out of the gate. So we didn't want to go too far off. And me being a smaller person, I was kind of worried about it being too stiff out of the gate and me not liking it. but. It turned out to be really good. I felt like I can just lay down the hammer and just get that power going and start getting to the first turn. Well, one of the features is this tapered head tube, which we use an inch and an eighth at the top and a 1.5 inch bearing at the bottom. And that allows us to use it to make a completely carbon fork, including the steer, and without a rider weight limit. The larger bearing on the bottom allows us to design a fork that distributes the forces more. So we able to make an extremely light fork and extremely strong. Your chain adjustment is integrated in with the dropout. It's essentially a vertical dropout that you can adjust and that allows you to um, remove and install your tire each time without having to reset your adjustment and alignment. 